Hi, my name is Sakura. I am a three-year-old rough collie, and I want to tell you how my typical day goes. My official AKC name is Sakura Spring of Astoria. I am from New Jersey, but was raised as a puppy in New York City, and now I live in Denver, Colorado. I have a stepsister who is a Sheltie, or a Shetland Sheepdog. She is super, super smart. Look at me. Just look at me. I am beautiful. I am a self-proclaimed diva. See how my coat blows in the wind? I taught Beyonce everything she knows. Luckily, being a diva, I have staff to take care of all my needs. All I need to do to get all this attention is walk around a show ring a dozen or so times a year. My morning begins between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. They insist that I go outside for a walk around the building. I look up at them and yawn as a sign of discontent that I have no interest in leaving the bed with all those pillows and all those humans to cuddle up to. My stepsister, the Sheltie, is already by the front door waiting. She is always in a hurry. Finally, I get up and slowly make my way to the door. You need to do a big yawn to let them know you protest and don't approve getting up this early. It is also important to do a little yoga before the walk to limber up too. A simple downward dog yoga move will suffice. Finally, I let them put a leash on me for the walk, much to my discontent. Off we go to the elevator. I literally like to chew on my leash at the start of the walk. Finally, I'm outside, and it's time to have a good, slow observation of any security risks that may be outside. I just like to stand there and look, and look, and look. What is the hurry? I am never in a hurry, as I am a diva. My stepsister and I begin to smell around at all the new smells from the night before. We usually like to smell completely different things, so this walk can take some time with a lot of waiting around. Morning is the best time to see rabbits around the building. We also see coyotes, hawks, owls, which are something to bark at and protect the smaller sheltie from. Back from the walk, it's time to crawl back in the warm bed with all the humans and pillows. My stepsister is annoying and makes sure to wake someone up every morning between 7.30 and 7.45 in the morning to get fed. For me, I would just rather lay in bed and sleep. As it is food, I reluctantly get up and go and have breakfast. I like to be a bit of a diva and raise my nose as to what is being served for breakfast. But in the end, I eat what they give me as it is food. Back to bed I go with all those pillows and blankets. I need to burn off my breakfast with several hours of sleeping. Mostly I just laze around until the lunchtime walk and bark at the occasional dog or bark at nothing, which gets the humans into a frenzy. Now comes the lunch walk. This is the walk I'm very, very excited for. We get a really long walk, and it usually takes a slightly different route every day. We walk down to the park, and I take my time, as every new smell must be investigated with great intensity. I love the park, especially the Canadian geese and ducks. I just love to watch them. As we start to walk home, I begin to walk slower and slower. I am no longer interested in smelling, just in getting home for yet more sleep. Generally, I sleep all afternoon. Sometimes I bark at the random dog, but mostly I sleep. My stepsister likes to bark at everything. Sometimes I wake up and bark with her, even if I don't know what I'm barking at. For the most part, I am very aloof in the day. My sister begs to go out on the deck to watch the building parking lot. I love to go outside, but I'm only interested in the apartment golf carts and the garbage trucks, which I will intensely bark at, no matter how mad the humans get. Finally, 5 p.m. comes, and people start to come home after finishing work. We now have a little playtime. One of my favorite things to play with is socks and gloves. I have wrecked so many socks I lose count. I steal dog toys from my sister that she is playing with as I am much larger than her. Unfortunately, as she is smarter than me, she usually finds a way to get the toy back. This is the time of the night I like to play with Dolly. Actually, this is Dolly number two. They swapped out my hedgehog for the same toy thinking I would not know. Even though they are the same toy, they smell different. I love to shove Dolly in every dog and human's face to be annoying. When I go into heat, Dolly never leaves my side when I am inside the apartment. Sometimes I try and take Dolly on walks. Humans never allow that. Whatever. Generally, you can expect a bit of grooming or maintenance most nights. See? I told you I was a diva and have someone to meet every one of my needs. Having all that fur takes a lot of work, but it is worth it. I pretend to do it for the treats, but I am generally lazy and will lay there anyway. You must make sure to reject any non-premium treats. If they try and slip me to some dry dog food, I just spit it out. Remember, it is important to always be a diva. Dinner is the meal that I am most excited for. I am always super hungry at night. Must be all those naps all day long. I usually start to whine and dog talk about 30 to 45 minutes before dinner. It never makes dinner arrive any sooner, but I still try it every night. After a wonderful dinner of various meats and vegetables, it is time for the evening walk. This walk can vary a great deal. 
Sometimes it is a trip to the park, or if the weather is bad, it is just a walk around the building. I am very slow and meander during this walk. Remember, it's always important to be a diva and reinforce the fact to humans that you are the one in control of things. Finally, back home for some more light naps and then sleeping through the rest of the night. Here are some supplemental notes on being a rough collie. Being a rough collie is all about appearance. Here are some things to remember. Product, 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 grooming, grooming, grooming. Look at all these products for me. This is what it takes to look your best. Like I say, remember I taught Beyonce everything she knows. It is just amazing how much it takes to keep me looking my best. Even though I don't like the weekly bath, I love the fresh liver treats that they prepare for me. As a diva, you get to be a bit naughty sometimes and get away with it. My fur managed to wreck this pet vacuum cleaner in only 18 months. Every time they sweep, it will fill up twice for a single cleaning of the apartment. What's the big deal? Such a small price to pay to be around such beauty. Speaking of naughty, my sister the Sheltie is the alpha dog. Luckily, I have 25 pounds in her. Even though she is smarter than me, I can use my weight to still push her around. I love to steal toys from her and then walk right in front of her and taunt and tease her. In addition to being a diva, I also like to bully the smaller Sheltie. Always remember, the humans are in your bed. You should always get the best spot in the king bed and take up a prime position. What works best for me is to just lay across all the pillows at the top of the bed and make the humans move around me. I'm not sure why they never kick me out. I hope this has been helpful to other rough collies who probably have a similar lifestyle. Any humans who expect to get a rough collie should be prepared for these personality trait and grooming requirements. If you should have any questions at all or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. 